Thanks. When you head out for happy hour, you've got, uh, you know, the last thing on your mind is probably like how many calories are you downing, right? Right. But it would be nice to know if you sort of uh, knew which drink to pick so that it would help you sort of keep to your keep, New Year's resolution. Yeah, because like apparently the average cocktail has a couple hundred calories. Did wow. you know that? No. Yeah. I don't want to know that, Stephanie. <laughs> well, you need to know that because the folks at Raw Sushi understand that, and they're actually trying to help people stick to the resolutions here to unveil a few skinny cocktails. Jennifer is with us. She's the manager over at the Mesa store. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good. We're sort of keeping our distance. I feel so bad that you're way over there. But... And Amanda is the mixologist. Yes. Amanda's just going to be doing all the hard work while we get to sit back and relax <laughs> and just try everything. So we appreciate you being here as well. You guys have an event going on tonight. We do. Tonight, Raw Mesa is turning three. So we're we're having our third anniversary party. It's from 8 until midnight. We have food and drink specials. It's a Candyland theme, so come with your candy necklaces and get ready for a good time. Yeah, I like that theme. That would get me there. Any, anything with the word candy in it, I'm there. It's really fun, and I have a cotton candy machine, so oh, how can you go no, wrong? Oh, no, you don't. I do. I'm really excited Can you make it. a cotton candy that drink? That might be my if heaven. We do. We actually have cotton candy vodka that'll be on special tonight also. Ooh. It's kind of the new thing. Well, let's make a drink. Perfect. We want to start with margaritas, because I know that um, I was reading, when I was kind of researching, I thought, skinny drink? Who needs a skinny drink? Well, I looked up, like, how many calories in a margarita. It is, you, don't, you don't really think about it, and everybody still wants to enjoy all of the cocktails that you love so much. We're all trying to keep our New Year's resolutions too. So we have three cocktails that we've created. They're all seven dollars and they have less than 200 calories a piece. Which is really, really good. It's really good. It's a great way to still have a good time. So she's making, it's called our Cucumber Slenderita. She has muddled a cucumber in the bottom. She's then going to mix Taiku Soju and a Taiku Citrus Liqueur. The soju... Bless you. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing differently in this to make it a low calorie margarita? We're adding these Taiku... Um, Spirits, they're from Japan. They are a flavor catalyst. So anything we mix it with, it automatically picks up the flavor and brings that out a little bit more. Oh, is that why the higher calorie drinks have enhanced flavor because? Because they have more calories in the liquor itself. Gotcha. We're also using fresh juices instead of something that's pre-mixed or out of a gun um, so that we can keep the calories down there. And we use a sugar-free sweetener, which is what she's using right here to make the margarita. Yeah, what does it, it like, taste like by by itself? Does it have a... It's like a vodka, like a, a lit, a, uh, like a sake. A... The Taiku is more of a vodka than a sake. Okay. Okay. It's really pretty. Oh, that's the liqueur it is, that isn't you it just cute? put Actually, in, right? the bottle lights up, too. It does? Mm -hmm. Everybody needs right. a bottle that lights up. Only when you've had bar. two of them, right? No. <laughs> it's way more exciting than that. So for the cucumberita, she's also mixing with it fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice, and fresh lemon juice. Um, so that it'll make a really tasty treat for you It looks like try. a lot goes into one drink. Did you see how many things she put in there? I know. Well, Andy and I were talking about this in, in, the, in the makeup room this morning. She said, do you really make your drinks at home? And when you find a good recipe, I think you do. And when you can remember that good She's recipe. She's like, I just opened a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Which many people do, you know? <laughs> but with these, these are super easy if you did want to make them at home because all you need are the three ingredients that go in it and then just fresh juice. So you can squeeze did you that in snap yourself. Her? I'm sorry, Amanda. We I can't take her anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to sample while let's, you make another one. While she tries this one, let's move to the next one, which is, was this the Cosmo? This is actually the Thin Mint Mojito. A mojito, okay. She's muddling mint Ooh. and lime juice on the bottom. And then she's just going to mix those with our three basic ingredients also. The Taiku Soju, the Taiku Citrus Liqueur, this is and very our sugar cucumber. triple sec. Very cucumbery, mm -hmm. Very light. I think it gives it a nice fresh flavor. Yeah. I like that a lot. Okay. Now, let's down. Now, um, back to, to raw. If people haven't been out there, you do have a pretty extensive drink list. We do. We actually just redid our menu a few weeks ago. So we have a, not, a lot of new drinks that everyone can sample on there. And we have some new sushi items as well. New sushi items. I mean, you guys are the half and in place for, for sushi, at least the one by my house. Yeah, it's not your ordinary sushi place, but... No, um, it's not. Okay, so let's go back to the skinny component. Have you had people try these yet, and what is the feedback you're getting? We have. They're a huge hit with all of our guests because everybody's trying to cut those calories this time right. of year. So why not give a skinny drink a try? You can't even tell that it's light in calories because it has so much fresh flavor in it. Okay, Amanda, you're not Mike, so stand close. We stand close to her? So yes. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> What are people doing wrong when they make this at home and, and it doesn't work well? As far as mojitos go, the thing that people do is they, to infuse mint into your mojito, you just need to lightly kind of crush it. And Muddle it, right? Trying to like smash it and rip it apart and that's just going to kind of make it gross. Okay. Just gonna be drinking <laughs> well, we don't want gross, so continue right. on. 
So, Jennifer, we're going to go ahead and just lightly muddle, if you even want to call that, the sure. mint. That's going to enhance the flavors mm -hmm. of the, the liqueur that we're using. And what, what are we using in this? There's also lime juice, the Taiku soju, Taiku citrus liqueur, the sugar-free triple sec, and then we just top it with soda water. They also they look the same, that same refreshing, like, lime and minty. They do, they do, and I, I really think they taste a lot fresher, a lot lighter. They're better to enjoy because the flavors are so... Fresh, we squeeze them out right when you make it. It's nothing Don't that's pre made. Snap at her. Sorry. I'll get it. I'm, I'm okay. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to provide the recipe for the last one online. It sure. was the, what is the skinny? This the is the skinatini. Skinatini. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All Thank right. you guys. Recipes Have fun tonight at your, at your big party. Thank you. By the way, Raw Sushi has five locations in the Valley, but if you'd like to try out these skinny drinks at home, we have, as I mentioned, put those recipes online, sonoranliving.com.